Hi guys, it's your girl Lola Loves You and I'm back with another video. I miss all of my honey bunnies. Um, I had sad news. Um, my aunt passed away and you know that I was close to my aunt and it was, you know, very, uh, I can't, I can't explain y'all. My feelings was very numb. I was sad. Um, but my aunt came to me in a dream, told me everything was going to be fine and she was okay. And so that kind of gave me a, a great deal of closure. And that made me work even harder. And, uh, you know, I'm I'm never going to be the same in the, in the aspect of one day I'm going to be fine that she's, you know, she's no longer here. And next day I'm going to be crying. You know, that's anybody that, anybody that you lose as a loved one. A loved one a close friend or whatever you you want to have good days and bad days you know but it gets better but you still want to have good days and bad days but anyway um during this time i did manage to watch the netflix movie beauty aka whitney in my opinion <laughs> okay This movie to me had, when I saw the previews, the trailer, I was so excited. I had such high hopes for this movie. Now, I'm, before you tear anything down, you got to build it up. And I'm going to tell the good parts about this movie. Okay, well, we know, allegedly, this movie is about Whitney Houston's life. The beginning years. Um... They got the wardrobe phenomenal. The scenery was phenomenal. It felt like Jersey in the early 80s. Um, the girl that played Whitney Houston, her body built was just like Whitney's. It was perfect. I didn't like the curly wig. It could have been a little more tamed. But I thought the girl was gorgeous. I knew who she was trying to emulate. And it she was gorgeous. I believe the character played Robin. She was gorgeous. A girl, that, a gorgeous girl. And, she, you know, she really, um, you know, she was trying to embody Robin. I felt Robin vibes a little bit. Um, the brother, Whitney Houston, brother Michael, was very nice looking. Um, the father played the father. He played the father, but we can get into that. Um, the guy, he played on a lot of stuff. Forgive me for not knowing his name, remember his name. But he played um, John Houston, allegedly. But, you know, they, their names wasn't the, um, Whitney and John and all of them in, in the movie. He paid Beauty's father. And Niecy Nash. I love me some Niecy, Na Niecy Nash. Um, Niecy Nash Betts. Excuse me, because you know she's with Jessica. Um, Niecy Nash, in my opinion, should have passed up on this role. Um, good talent, but just wasn't the role. Um, Sharon Stone was the best. And out of everybody in the movie, in my opinion, Sharon Stone was playing Clive Davis. And she was the best. The best of the best. Sharon Stone, yes, was, was the best out of all of them. My favorite part of the movie was the scenery. I just loved the scenery. It just looked felt real. Now, um... Oh, gosh. That's all the good parts about the movie. Had some few funny parts, but... The writing. The writing was horrible. It was like somebody just looked at old Whitney Houston interviews and book quotes, a magazine interview quotes, and put them together and try to make a, a script. It was horrible. Horrible, y'all. <laughs> they didn't even have no music or singing in the movie. Every time somebody sing, you just see them shake their heads and, and start lip singing to air, to nothing. It was horrible. Oh my gosh. It's just. It's like they took Whitney Houston's life. And scrambled it. And um, try to do twists and turns. And try to jam everything in. And. and it, oh my gosh. And, it, I, and you know what? It's so funny. Everybody that want to play Whitney. Why do they make them so naive? And oh, oh no. I didn't, I didn't mean it that way. Whitney was not like that. She was respectful, but she wasn't scary. They make her seem so scary, shy, and timid. 
Whitney was not like that. Especially when it came to Robin. She was the more the aggressor. Robin character, her wig was awful. I don't, Robin never wore my, I don't, and that's the thing about, I understand these characters are these characters. But it's like, the, the mullet, like for real, a short mullet, it was horrible. The Gary character, oh my gosh. They made it seem like he lived in the basement. One of them relatives lived in the basement. It got a little prompt issues. And that was, <laughs> it was awful. The father was horrendous, y'all. They made that father a terrible villain, which we know Whitney Houston father did a lot of bad things to her financially. But at the end of the day, he had, Whitney Houston was a daddy's girl. He had her back. He was not like that. And DC Nash playing Sissy Houston, well, Beauty's mother. It's just the script was so bad. I'm like, Nisi Nash, why would you even play like that? Because people might think that you really act bad. I know it was just a bad script. All of them could act. Every last one of them, I could tell really could act, but it just was a bad script. It was a horrible script. And the wigs were laid. Like, these wigs were laid. They were whack. No type of thought or effort. The only time I liked the wig when... In the movie, Beauty was acting like Whitney in the beauty shop when she was trying on wigs. And she had that little rat wig on, like how Whitney Houston was wearing her hair, like on the um, late night show in 1985, singing You Give Good, Good Love. I like that. That did look like Whitney. I could see Whitney. And the clothing for the girl lady had on was impeccable. The um, lead lady to play um, Beauty to play, aka Whitney. Her, them sweaters, them shirts, they look like Whitney. Top built was so much of Whitney Houston. But the father, that was so trifling how they portrayed the father. The father, like I said, had bad ways, but not like that. He was not like that to Whitney Houston. Not like that. He might have got her money, but he did not treat her like that. And then he, they, you know, at the end, um, they try to do like that um, when he was in the hospital bed, saying, "Pay me the money you owe me." It was it was horrible, y'all. The movie was, and I had some of my honey bunnies was leaving. <laughs> they was leaving comments and <laughs> on up my um, trailer reaction video to the, the um, to the movie, and I was like, it can't be that bad, but it was bad, y'all. But like I said, they got the scenery was perfect. The house looked like Whitney Houston. It just was a little dark. Whitney Houston house wasn't that dark. But it was a little dark. But the kitchen looked like the kitchen. It, it gave me Whitney Houston um, from 1982. But that wig was just too lopsided, too curled, too puffed. It just, if the, she had a, a better wig. But like I said, she acted so naive. And then the, oh, Bobby Brown was in a girl, a supposed Bobby Brown, allegedly. The neighbor when she moved I like the apartment scene because it remind me of How her and Robin did move out In her independence But her flirting with that Neighbor It was just awful and then she inviting Him to the Merv Griffin show Allegedly And flirting in front of Robin This stuff I mean I, I, knew, I know it had to be twist and turn so I guess they didn't get sued or copyright Or whatever the case may be but they had good ingredients, but they just had a terrible script and terrible wigs. It was just horrible. And if, if it was, if this was a good project, they could have really made a Netflix series about Whitney Houston's life, and it would have been really good. But it was a waste. Y'all wasted all this time, wasted all this star power in this movie just for it to be a waste. It was bad. And the lady that made this movie, Lena. That's girl, you I don't know what you doing. This this is you did a dis disservice to Whitney and to Robin because the script was awful. It was awful and the wigs were horrendous. And I love Lena and I love the whole idea of the situation, but it just didn't come out right. That's all I gotta say for me for the, about this movie. I'll give it a one star and I give it if I had to give graded, it would be a C minus. Lackluster, but like I put the scenery and stuff, it was phenomenal, and the clothing was phenomenal. It just I didn't like the wigs, but the cl it, I got that. And then how Whitney was well, Beauty was watching TV, watching the Clark Sisters from the nineties. I'm like, this stuff is from the nineties. They show stuff from performances, performance from the nineties. This ain't 
that wasn't from the 80s. Like, it just was weird. But anyway, leave in the comments down below. Did you like it? Who was your favorite character in the movie? What was your favorite part in the movie? My favorite part in the movie would have to be when her and Robin was in their apartment and they just was, you know, embracing their, their home together. I did like that part. And I like the part when I would see her, Whitney walking around, well, Beauty walking around the neighborhood. That gave me Whitney feel with a plaid shirt. That just gave me Whitney feel down. But anyway, let me know what's your favorite part. Who was your favorite character? Who was the worst character? The worst character for me would had to be. It would had to be um Gary character. The Gary character was late. Well, her brother, Beauty's brother, he was late. And they made Michael seem so gullible. That was horrible, y'all. But let me know who was your favorite character, who was your worst, the worst character. And leave it in the comments down below. I will be back with another video. If y'all have any other ideas or questions about Whitney Houston or a video topic, leave it in the comments down below. It's your girl, Lola Loves You. And I'll be back. Mommy, buddies, I love y'all. I'm back.